A lot of you guys have seen my video on how to tie a stinger hook. We've come out with a couple of new ideas and I'd just like to show you. We've come out with this device we've called the, the stinger jig. We've added another pin to hold the hook. We've raised the pin length to make it easier to tie stinger hooks. And also we made this out of aluminum. It doesn't move around as much. A little bit of half. It, again, it just makes it easier to tie stinger hooks. One thing I found out, I like to use Berkley Trilene Big Game. It's a real stretchy line. It's very durable. And the stinger hooks aren't going to break as easy. I use Mustad number 10. It's a lightweight round bend treble hook. These things, if you snag something at the bottom of the river, you can just give it a pull and usually they'll bend out and you'll get your stinger hook and your jig and everything back. Just bend the, bend the hook back straight, sharpen it, and away you go again. I use AFW number one crimp sleeves. Some uh, different ones like Mason, they're a little bit sharper I think on the edges and it makes your stinger hooks a lot weaker. So out of all the different crimp sleeves that I've tried, I like the American Fishing Wire number one crimp sleeves the best. So whatever way you're going to tie your stinger hook, we've designed the stinger jig to help make it easier for you. With either of these stinger hook styles, there's a few different ways that you can attach the hook to your line. You can tie a Palmar knot that works really well. Another way you can do it is just crimp the line to the hook. I feel that adds a little bit more weight and then you use another crimp sleeve. The way I'll show you in this one is just a real quick easy snell. Run the line through the hook eye and along the shank. Take this other end, wrap back over it nine to ten times. And then you simply run that line through the hook eye. Put that in the stinger jig, give it a pull, and that pulls that snell knot really tight. It won't come undone then. When you're tying the slip stinger hook, you just run the line through the number one crimp sleeve, make a loop, run it back through. Hook it onto the single post of the stinger jig. Run your crimp, crimp sleeve up tight. Simply tie an overhand knot. Take a nail or other small tool and run that knot up tight to that crimp sleeve. And then I like to do another overhand knot right over top of that. So those will end up right on top of each other. Simply trim it. Always give it a pull to test its strength. Make sure you tie it good. And then you can just slip this on your jig and you're ready to go fishing. You want to take it off, just pull on this crimp sleeve. It will loosen that back up and you can take it off, change your plastic, or put a new minnow on. Now to do the dip method, I'm going to attach the hook the same exact way. Just do a real quick snell. Put it in the stinger jig, pull it tight, 
tighten up that knot. And again, you're going to do the same thing. Run it through the crimp sleeve one time. Make a loop. Run it back through the crimp sleeve. Now when I'm doing this style, we like to keep them high up on the pins. That way, you can slip your crimping pliers right in there. And it makes it real easy. Again, always give it a test. And then give it a trim. Now for this, we'll use this uh, Performix plastic dips. It's for dipping tool handles. You can just give it a quick dip in this. Don't get too much on there, and then just let it dry. And then just let it dry overnight. I've got one here that's been dried overnight and then when you want to use this you just simply slip it on over the barb and that little bit of rubber holds your stinger hook in place. Now after you take this on and off three or four times it's going to knock that rubber out of there. You can save these up and re-dip them or you can just simply take a little piece of uh, wind out worm, a little piece of plastic and put that over top and that'll hold your stinger hook in place. Uh, you can also just not dip these. Put it on there and then put your little piece of rubber on there. So whatever way you're going to tie your stinger hook We've designed the Stinger Jig to help make it easier for you. So if you'd like to pick up a Stinger Jig, you can go to my website, hotbitecharters.com, go to the Stinger Jig page, or just type in the stingerjig.com. Also, I have for sale the American Fishing Wire Crimp Sleeves and the number 10 Mustad Treble Hooks. Just shoot me an email, let me know, we'll get you all set up. Thank you.